So let's now get into more specifics about cervical cancer screening. Um, in 2012, unprecedented joint guidelines were issued by the American Cancer Society, ASCCP, and the American Society for Clinical Pathology. And the very important change in, in these guidelines was that for the first time, co-testing, you know, the PAP and HPV testing, was recommended as the preferred screening strategy versus cytology alone. And the intent of the recommendation was to increase the, the sensitivity of screening by adding the HPV test, but the byproduct was that it also increased the complexity. Okay, so as you can imagine, with co-testing, you get two results, and very often one will be a screen positive and one will be a screen negative. So this discordance has to be resolved in determining management. Now, the management of some of the combinations is very straightforward. For example, a woman, a woman who has a negative PAP and is HPV negative would just be returned to routine follow-up. And for ASCUS triage using, using HPV, a woman who is HPV negative with ASCUS would also go back to routine follow-up. And a woman who is HPV positive with ASCUS would go on to colposcopy. And likewise, women who have a higher grade of cytology, uh, L-cell or greater, independent of uh, their HPV status, would go to colposcopy. But the group that's most challenging, again, is women who have negative cytology and are HPV positive. And for these women, ASCCP has given us options for their management. So this is one of the 18 management algorithms. Uh, the, the first option for women who have a negative PAP but are HPV positive is to take all of them and defer them to further follow-up for a year. And after a year, they would have repeat co-testing, and if both the PAP and HPV were negative, they would have repeat co-testing in three years. If either the PAP or the HPV test were positive, they would go on to have colposcopy. So the second option from ASCCP um, includes HPV genotyping in the initial screening testing. And in this option, uh, women who test positive for HPV 16, 18 would go to immediate colposcopy. So they wouldn't be deferred to come back in a year. They would go to colposcopy straight away. And women who were 16 and 18 negative but still HPV positive, they would be referred to repeat co-testing in one year. 